The United States has reportedly informed its allies that Iran has transferred short-range ballistic missiles to Russia to use in the war in Ukraine. Two anonymous officials confirmed the U.S. intelligence findings but didn't say how many weapons had been delivered or when the transfers took place. The White House has warned Tehran for months against transferring ballistic missiles to Moscow. Iran has been providing Russia with its Shahed attack drone since autumn 2022. A record number of protesters flooded the streets of Tel Aviv on Saturday night to express their frustration and outrage, underscoring the pressure that's building for months now over Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his extreme right-wing government coalition, seemingly unwillingly to reach a ceasefire and captives deal with Hamas the U.S. is helping to broker. Many protesters accuse Netanyahu of repeatedly trying to sabotage the talks for his own political gain. Jordan has launched an investigation and closed the King Hussein Bridge after three Israeli civilians were killed in a shooting attack at a border crossing with the occupied West Bank. The attacker, who was shot dead by Israeli security forces, was reportedly a truck driver from Jordan who arrived at the terminal and opened fire on customs workers. The incident comes amid high regional tension. Overnight, there were missile exchanges between Israel and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah, with a number of projectiles being fired from both directions across the border. This morning, a stunning moment in a Georgia courtroom. Father and son appearing back to back, both charged in connection with a shooting that killed two students and two beloved teachers at Appalachie High School. All right, good morning, sir. Are you Mr. Colt Gray? Sir. Colt Gray, the 14-year-old sitting just feet away from the families of his alleged victims. You were charged with four counts of felony murder. Moments later, his father, 54-year-old Colin Gray, brought in shackled. Rocking back and forth, a judge charging him with multiple felonies, second-degree murder and involuntary manslaughter among them. At least 17 boys have died after a fire swept through their primary school dormitory in central Kenya. Local officials said the fire broke out at 11 p.m. in a dormitory at Hillside and Arusha Primary School in Nyeri country, where 156 boys were asleep. Well, more than 2,000 people tried to help rescue the children, many of whom were sheltering under their beds. The cause of the fire is still not clear. Libya's Coast Guard intercepted dozens of Europe-bound migrants on a boat and returned them to shore, authorities said on Saturday, a few days after a shipwreck off the North African country left nearly two dozen dead or missing. The boat was carrying 67 migrants and was intercepted Friday off the northwestern town of Serta, according to the town's Coast Guard unit. On Wednesday, a boat carrying 32 migrants from Egypt and Syria capsized off Libya's eastern town of Tobruk, leaving 22 missing and presumed dead. Meanwhile, North Korea continues to send waste-carrying balloons into South Korea. A batch sent on Friday evening is the third in as many days. 
According to Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff, the balloons are heading to the northern part of Gyeonggi-do province. South Korea's military advises citizens to stay away from the balloons and report any to police when coming across them. The regime has been floating trash balloons for the 15th time this year.